how's everyone doing today? Trying a few things different out today. We're doing a horizontally done video and we're trying out some new products. Uh, let's see here. Cardingham and Kilgrew. And the scent is The Hunt. It's a glycerin based soap. I did test it to make sure we weren't going to go fall flat in this video. So this is semi initial impression video. Um, this is also one of their brushes that came in their little kit. And we'll get started here. It's a very small puck and it's a look like a glycerin based soap. And this is a synthetic brush. And it feels kind of like the silver silver tech from Edwin Jagger and the Mila that I had the orange or the butterscotch handle urn shaped brush and I love the shape of that brush I love the weight and feel of that brush I do not like the fiber and yeah, this looks nearly identical just a bit more densely packed uh, what I don't like about it is that it flings lather everywhere the hairs actually have a, or the fibers have a very uh, springy and like I'm pushing 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 and then like reach, reaches a threshold and then it decides to give whereas like um, Adders and Boars but they both have I don't know it seems like a one-to-one -one ratio when we push in it splays out as much as you'd expect whereas this one does not and the surface area on this is not what I'm used to, so it'll take me a bit longer to load up. I just got out of the shower just a bit ago. But one thing you can't deny the um, once you get them spread out, they stay spread out, and the tips are really soft. It just generally flings leather everywhere because they're so springy. Okay. The scent is incredibly light. And it came with a bowl. I don't, I don't really use bowl for lathering, and it was also incredibly small. I don't have it out. That it was essentially the same size as this, but it was stainless. Scent is light. It's the name of the scent is the hunt. Um, I guess I get kind of a morning, a refreshing morning before you go out, but it's not woodsy or forest floor like or warm or even with a menthol backbone, like the portray getting out in a cold morning. So I don't know what their inspiration behind it was. Cause it's very, it is rather fresh. So, but everyone has a different idea. So it feels incredibly slick. It is incredibly slick and it's also got quite a bit of cushion. It's difficult for me to feel my finger uh, fingerprints. So we're gonna be using something out of the box that uh, I've never used before and it is a shavette with a half of a DE blade. I don't know if you can really see that right there. So you keep the DE blade in the package, you snap it in half and then you place it in there this little door opens up and you place it in there now i've used a straight razor before but i've never used a shave before so this is a new experience 
and there's a pulse over in there. Puffing my cheek out a little bit. You know what it is? It's incredibly important to keep the angle correct. And this leather is super dry. So on the width grain pass for essentially this much I'm right-handed so for this much of the my face I'm going to use my right hand and then for this much I'm going to use my left hand it does have a bit of a different feel than a actual straight razor. The blade is not nearly as wide as the holder that's in, I don't know if you can really tell. And that cut is healing up all right. And there's no lather there, I'm not gonna shave it. And the leather that is there is dry, so I'm going to go back in here and just freshen it up. So it's all also about a 30 degree angle on the side of your face. I don't know if I can really get it very well. I'll try. Can you hold, hold tension against, pull against? You don't want your skin to Get a little bulge in it you're putting pressure. So just like with a DE razor, no pressure. Very, very light and fine touch. There we go. Okay, so that 
was the with grain and as you can imagine it's a bit more bit of a different feel uh with just <laughs> there's no safety cap like a i'm just a safety razor in the uh phone here depth perception is uh weird kind of have to approach my face very slowly wait for the contact and then set the angle uh, and you couple that with whenever the phone is turned horizontally you see more of this and less of this and uh, it does make it a bit more difficult um, I will say this is thirsty soap. Thirsty soap. But the razor feels super smooth. It's got a pulse silver in it. Those are comfortable blades for me. Having never used one of these before, the edge is much more keen than any. Well, it's not sharper, it's just a different angle of the blade. The razor edge is different. And I don't know if it's fact that I'm using a straight razor and the technique is off or what, but I'm getting a bit of burning. Not burning. Uh, it was a slight irritation. This is not a exact exact representation of a straight razor shave, but it seems it's a whole lot less expensive. And I feel like the margin of error. is a bit less forgiving. Because you're using a deep eraser. Edge. That's that. And that's irritation left over from <laughs> the first heritage razor shave. Okay, it's still it's a 
sufficiently slick, but I'm gonna freshen it up anyway. Right hand, pull down against the way I'm gonna go. You don't want to shape a curve, just pull it off. To be fair, the only spot on here that needs to be got is right there. Okay. Effective? Yeah. Not gonna be my first choice though. Would I suggest it to someone? As their first radar? No, not in a million years. That's good. That's good. Good. Okay. Cool water rinse off. Well, I made it through. Didn't nick myself. I will say that it's definitely not the most comfortable. Shave of every hand, but I'm not used to shave it ever, and I haven't used a straight razor in a little over a year or so. Used to exclusively shave with them, but I've definitely come out of practice. But the, can't complain about the shave. Or the result, it is incredibly smooth. So this did not come with it, but I gotta love all Innsbruck. Tobacco flower and menthol. We will see exactly if there's any irritation anywhere. Or if it was just maybe I have a sensitivity to one of the ingredients in that soap. Oh yeah. Just an absolute warmth stinging all the way through here. Yeah. Definitely give that thing a, give the shave head another shot. Hey, really different blade though. Brush performed adequately. 
So, do not believe that the warming sensation was from the ingredients in the soap. The soap is actually very slick and has good cushion. And brush handle is resin. Uh, it feels heavy, it doesn't feel hollow, I'll say that. So it's made from like a stock of resin maybe, because I don't see where it's, yeah, I do right there. All right, so there's a line. So it's injected molded, injection molded, um, not hand turned. And the fiber, not my favorite fiber, um, but performed great. And let's see here, we came with some matching aftershave balm, which you'll need. Probably due to my inexperience with that shavette. But, uh, half an almond size dollop, so I guess a pea sized dollop, and let's see how it goes on. It feels nice. All right. Well, that's that. Everyone, let me know how you feel about the horizontal uh, picture. And let me know if you've ever used a Shavette and had a similar experience. I did have a backup in the <laughs> Gillette Heritage Razor with the Kai Blade. Uh, overall, soap performed nice. Since a little, uh, on the light side, but uh, I don't know if I would have named it the hunt, but it is light and refreshing. Uh, balm feels very nice, very silky, very smooth, and uh, the brush is nice. The brush is nice, definitely be a good one uh, as a beginner if you uh, are on a budget. So, I believe this was a on the lesser expensive side and you don't have to take nearly as much care of a synthetic knot as you do a natural hair but we'll go over that in a future video we're going to talk about pre-shave we're going to talk about razors all kinds we're going to talk about uh brushes everything from handles hair height of the hair and uh how to take care of it post shave we'll talk about soaps and uh, all that. So if y'all wanna hear any of those things first, let me know and uh, I'll see you soon.